Hey guys, welcome back to AIR Reptile Rescue. This next video, I'm going to talk about the, pre uh, the proper feeding for your bearded dragon. Um, I'm also going to show you one of the products that I use. Um, remember, the company that makes this product does not pay me to endorse this product. I do this from the kindness of my heart to show you guys what I recommend and what I personally use for the health of my reptiles. Uh, well, of my bearded dragon, really. Now, one of the things I'm going to talk about, offer insects to your bearded dragon daily. Um, we always do this in the morning. Um, that gets that metabolism going, and that gives them the day to digest those insects and get the nutrients from them. Um, the best insects for these guys, there's three of them that we recommend the most. Gut loaded crickets, which means they were just previously fed, they're nice and full and nice and plump and ready to be eaten. Um, the next one, mealworms. It all depends on the size of your dragon, on what size worms you can get them for mealworms. Um, you can go all the way up to super worms. Uh, but mealworms are very, very healthy for them. They're also very nutrient uh, rich for them. Now, the last thing has a lot of fat content, a lot of nutrients in it, and it's called Dubia roaches. Yes, I know people are gonna be sitting there going, wait, roaches? Not the kind you'll see in a house. Not like the big old cockroaches, not like the big old uh, German cockroaches, not those. Dubia roaches are actually pretty cool. Um, I didn't think I would actually enjoy feeding the Dubias to my bearded dragon, but honestly, whenever I got to handle one, it wasn't that bad. Um, it's not like a nasty house roach. These are actually really cool looking uh, and actually really just look like what's called a, what we call a roly poly or a potato bug uh, here in the south. So, dubia roaches are actually very, very good for bearded dragons, but do dubia roaches in moderation. Because of how much uh, weight that your dragon can put on from those, do those as mostly like treats. Now, mealworms and crickets, do those on a daily basis. Offer one or the other on a daily basis for your bearded dragon. Do be a roaches every now and again as a treat. Um, now, offer a salad. You can do the salad in the morning or the evening. I've been doing with Trooper his salad in the morning. So whenever I put his mealworms in, they're kind of moving around in his salad. So they're getting the calcium from the calcium powder off of his salad on them at the same time. But he's also getting salad at the same time as he's trying to get to those worms. So with him, it's encouraging him to eat his salads. It's also encouraging him to get that vitamin enrichment that he needs from the calcium powder and the vitamin D3. Um, but also remember, make sure that whenever you offer a salad, you sprinkle it with calcium powder. Um, don't overpower calcium powder. I did that with the, uh, with the crickets. I overloaded them. That's probably why you guys seen that white stuff on the bottom of his enclosure in the last video. That's just calcium powder that was overkill. I I messed up doing that, but you know what? Uh, honestly, he licks the carpet because of the fact that I gave him what's called a uh, like a flower treat uh, that I put in the bottom of his enclosure, and he's been eating on that. Um, also, remember before you give them that salad, mist it down. Use a mister, like a spray bottle. Uh, kind of like a spray bottle you get to correct your cat. Get one of those. Mist the salad down. Don't drench it in water, but make sure it's got enough moisture to it to where they have that extra water for their body. Um, the more water they can get in into their intake is the great. Um, don't forget, with their calcium powder... Provide their calcium powder two to three times a week. Um, now, with the calcium powder, 
If you get the calcium and vitamin D3, that two to three times a week is perfect. Um, if you have a dragon that's in the situation Trooper's in, where he's malnourished, he did not get the proper vitamins or calcium, try to give it a little bit more, maybe every other day or even every day until you get that body strength up and you get him moving around a lot and being more active. Then you can cut it back to the two to three times a week. Um, the reason I say that because you want them to have that proper calcium and vitamins to help them become strong and get their strength up. Especially in his situation, he's weak because he was so malnourished and so uncared for that it's sickening. That I'm, I was sad when I seen him. I wanted to cry because honestly, I thought he was not going to make it through the first night. Um, but I went that same day, got him lights, got him everything he needed. I made sure that that baby was taken care of the first day he came in. Um, it cost me almost $300 just to get him set up. So remember, it is an expensive hobby, but it's well worth it. Uh, as you guys can see with the way he chills out on me. Um, now, we use what's called Reptical or Reptical-Calcium with vitamin D3 in it. I'm going to show you guys the container. Um, Zoomed is the maker of this one that I buy. Um, they don't pay me to promote their product. They do not. Uh, but I do love some of their products that they make. This being one of them. Because whenever I go to provide calcium, I'm also providing extra vitamin D3 to my reptile, which keeps them healthy and happy. Um, now this one, uh, whenever you get it, guys, you go to open it up. It's going to have a white piece of paper over the top. To make sure that it stays fresh and everything. Whenever you go to peel that off, you're going to think, okay, how am I supposed to scoop that out to sprinkle it? There's actually a scoop inside of here that is buried inside the calcium. You have to dig the scoop out. But once you do, that scoop is the perfect portion to use to sprinkle that on the food. Um, I found out the hard way. I tried sprinkling it on the crickets. Like I said, over, I did an overkill on that. Um, but I didn't realize there was a scoop inside. So, whenever I found the scoop, I felt like a dork. But you know what? Honestly, this is probably one of the best things you can get. It's Reptocalcium with vitamin D3. Um, so, it provides the calcium and vitamins that your dragon needs. It's great for... Uh, on the front of here, it shows... Let me see. I'm... I'm a little bit hard of seeing, so kind of give me a second. It shows a crested gecko on here, which I think are beautiful. Um, it shows a turtle. Uh, I don't know if it's a tortoise or just a regular box turtle. Um, it also has chameleons, which chameleons are amazing. I love chameleons. I love the way they change colors and adapt to their environment. They're really cool. And then it has the bearded dragon. So, if you see that on the container and it says Reptocalcium, buy Zoomed, buy it. Buy as many as you can. I bought the store out of their last two they had. I'm actually waiting for them to get more in so I can up my stock and make sure I have them so that now they're on sale, I'll have an abundance of it and I won't run out for a while. Um, but like I said, this is great. Um, on the front, it says Reptocalcium. And then there's a little orange spot underneath the picture of the, of the bearded dragon that says with D3. That just means it's with the vitamin D3 that your dragon will need. Uh, it tells you exactly how to do it. It tells you all about Zoomed's uh, formulas and stuff like that and how they make it. Um, and it tells you the directions for use. Like if you're doing... Uh, if you're doing it for insectivores like your bearded dragon or lizards, uh, it tells you exactly how to properly dust the crickets um, and uh, also it tells you how to do it with uh, either way for herbivores also which is the vegetables. Uh, it tells you how to dust each thing for 
your uh, lizard or for your turtle. So remember, this stuff is very, very helpful. ZooMed is great for everything they do. Um, they're not paying me to say this. I'm promoting this product because of the fact that it's something I use. Um, I use this as a religion with my reptiles. Uh, my mother-in-law doesn't know this yet. Yes, I use it on your turtle. Hi. Your turtle is getting calcium and vitamin three. So, uh, but like I said, ZooMed's product is great. Um, Repticalcium, vitamin D3 provides what they need. Um, it usually runs about five something a container for this container here. Uh, like I said, luckily I got it on sale at Petco for three forty-seven a container. So I bought them out for what they had. Uh, but you guys, we're gonna wrap it up. Um, um, one tip is to always keep at least one extra container on hand. Yeah. Um, like Amber said behind the camera, always, <clears throat> always make sure you have one extra container on hand at all times. The reason we say this because if I'm doing this every single day, because the way that my dragon's condition is, and trying to get that calcium and vitamin D three in him, and trying to get him healthy again. If I run out of this, I don't have a backup container. I go to the store, they're out of stock. What am I supposed to do? Then I can't provide my dragon with the proper nutrients he needs. Then I'm going to feel like a bad owner because I'm not providing him what he needs. Um, so I always keep at least one extra, which I have on top of my microwave right now. Uh, and I'm actually going to go again after the Christmas holiday. I'm going to go back to Petco and stock up some more. So I'm always going to have extras in stock. If there's anybody local to me and you can't find any in the stores, please let me know. Don't let your dragon go without. I will provide you with a container. Yes, I'll ask you to pay for it. I'll just make you cover the cost that I had to pay. But you will get a container. I will have extra on hand for that. Um, I provide dog food to people in the community for their dogs to help them out. Um, I have plenty enough. Um... I don't have extra cat food. I don't have extra hamster food. But whenever it comes down to the reptiles, if I have extras and you're in my community and you need help, that's what I'm here for. I'm here to help your reptile. I'm here to help you. So please don't be afraid to ask. If you need advice on where to get uh, feed at for your reptiles or whatever, to have it shipped to you if you can't find it at your local stores, Feel free to message me. I will find you somebody that will, that is a, a breeder of crickets, roaches, worms. Uh, if it's for your snakes, if they feel if they breed rats, mice, anything that is for reptiles, I will personally do research and I will find someone that, to provide you with the feed that can ship it to you. Um, so please keep that in mind. Anybody from ZooMed that sees this, yes, I know I'm promoting your product. I don't have a sponsorship from you guys. I would love one, but you don't have to. I mean, it would mean the world to us to have a sponsor to promote our videos. Uh, but honestly, I love you guys. I love y'all's products. I use a lot of y'all's items. Uh, so thank you guys. Keep up the good work on providing great products for my reptiles. Uh, here at AIR, our reptiles are happy and healthy. So thank you guys for what y'all do. Uh, we're going to wrap it up, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Whenever you do subscribe, hit that bell notification right here underneath the big fat chin of mine. Um, hit that bell notification. Click all. Whenever I post new videos, you'll get a notice saying that I posted something. Uh, don't forget if you have any questions or comments leave them down below in the comment section um, but make sure it's age appropriate I have children that watch my channel if it's not age appropriate I will delete the comment if you violate my rule more than once I will block you which I don't want to do because you have freedom of speech but if I feel it's not age appropriate for the children I will block you if I feel it's extremely not appropriate for my channel, I will report it to, to YouTube and I will let them take it into their the matters into their hands and they may delete your account for 
the inappropriate stuff. Uh, so please keep it age appropriate for the children. Uh, the very last thing I want to mention, guys. I know the whole U.S. is going through a major storm system. Please, if you're in the U.S., if you're in the Homa area, if you're anywhere in the U.S., please stay safe for the holiday season, guys. Happy holidays from AIR Reptile Rescue. Please stay safe. If you're going to parties for the holidays, please don't drink don't drink and drive. Um, the reason I say that, um, I was almost killed by a drunk driver at four years old, right around the holiday seasons. Um, I was almost paralyzed too. I was very badly injured. Um, and it wasn't my mom's fault. Uh, we had a drunk driver that came up behind us doing almost 100 miles an hour, slammed into the back of our car. Uh, I remember this vividly. I still have nightmares from it. Uh, I can't even drive down that down the interstate without almost freaking out behind the wheel uh, in that same spot where we almost got killed. Uh, so please stay safe in this weather. Please do not drink and drive. Because if you drink and drive, you're taking your life in your own hands. You're risking killing yourself or you're risking killing someone else. Please don't do it. Call your local police department. Most of them will offer you a free ride to keep you safe and keep you from driving while you're intoxicated. Uh, if not, find someone who's a great friend that you know is responsible and will drive you home. If you go to somebody's party... Ask them where you can place your keys to where you cannot have them back until you're sober. Please keep that in mind, guys. I ask that of you. Uh, as my supporters, I know that you guys love what I do, and I appreciate your support, but please do not drink and drive. Um, it's a very, very close thing I hold to my heart. Uh, I have never drank and drove because of the fact that I know what it can cost someone. Um, it almost cost me my life. I almost didn't get to live to be 34 years old. So, please keep that in mind. Uh, like I said, though, happy holidays from AIR. We love you guys. We appreciate your support. Um, Zeusy's in the back sleeping. Bandit's sleeping. Rex is sleeping by his mama's legs. Smokey's on the back of my couch, and Thor is <laughs> all stretched out. Uh, but all of our babies here truly appreciate your support. Um, we love you guys so much for it. Happy holidays. Stay safe, and come back and check out our next video series. I'm not sure what we're going to do next. Um, I think it might be the crust of geckos. So the other half is saying we may do the crust of geckos next. I'm not sure. But stay tuned, guys. What I'll do is I actually will promise this to you. I will do a live video. I'll give you an update on Trooper. I'll give you updates on all of my animals, all of my reptiles. Um, Patty is growing, so I will show you her in the live video. And I'll let you guys know what my next video series will be on. So stay tuned for a live video, guys. I want to give you guys a chance to actually see me live, not just a pre-recorded video. Uh, I want you guys to see me live in action in my home with my animals and my love for my animals. Uh, and I'll mention in my next in the live video what our next video series will be on. So happy holidays. Stay safe. We love you guys. Good night from AIR.